Mazak Optonix here in Chicago. Welcome back to MTD CNC. You know this famous face, I'm sure you do. Even though we're in the US, he's jumped the pond. We're gonna talk about this Mazak machine behind us, cutting bar or tube, depending on what they got going through. Right now it's square, but I'm gonna learn some more from him just like you guys. Paul, lasers, right? Yeah, I mean, it, I, I, I love watching these things in action. They move so quickly, even if it's the flatbed, type laser or this you know the tube cutting machine and I think if we get the camera one of the cameras inside you'll just see how quick uh, the machine is moving and the change of uh, heads we've actually uh, what's clever about this I suppose is what I really wanted to touch on it's the fact that it's multifaceted you can do so many things it's not only cutting the the tube that you see there but you can also do things like put threads in things you can etch parts so so flexible did you just say I can etch and thread? Yeah, you can do it all. And I'm going to show you this uh, piece here, actually. Uh, so if we, if we bring the camera out to this, you'll see this is a finished part that's actually being run here at the open house. Now, the total manufacturing time of three of these, which comes out of a, um, a long tube, is actually just under 13 minutes. Now, you'll see you've got etching on the end there, uh, which is obviously just referencing the part. You've got all these hexagons that are cut out here. You've got your rectangle lower down that's been cut out. And then you'll see where that, um, that bolt is. You've obviously got threads as well. So you're able to not have to take parts off this machine and then put them onto other machines to do other operations. So it's really, really clever. And how significant is removing secondary operations oh, in your opinion? So, so necessary, isn't it? I mean, if we come out this way, again, just looking at the size of this machine and some of the, uh, the you know, the, the feeding of the tube. Here you can get up to, not on, not on this particular one, but there is up to 15 meters, would you believe, of tube you can put through. Now this is actually cutting stainlesses as well. And the clever thing about these uh, laser cutters is of course, you've got to be careful when you're, when you're cutting that you don't cut right the way through the top and then through the bottom of it as well. So you need the technology like Mazak offer to be able to ensure that that doesn't happen. Just to create a clearer understanding, we're looking at four kilowatt, right? If we bump this up to a 10, that laser is going straight through the whole part. And now there's an issue. And that's where that balance and yeah. wisdom comes in from someone like Mazak who's been doing it for so long. Yeah, I mean, we had a walk around here yesterday and one of the, uh, one of the gentlemen was telling me that the other machine that's laser cutter up there is, is like, um, you know, the fast car, the sports car, and this, he says, is like the truck. This is, I mean, you can see some of these applications, some of these parts, some of these stainless components that are being cut on the machine. If you've got that real heavy engineering, that's where this fits. Now, the actual, um, the head doesn't move, and let's take the camera back in again, because it is fascinating to see. You can actually see the feeding mechanism in here and, and, and the tube actually being fed. Uh, it's, it, it, rather than the head actually moving on this, basically they're moving the part to the, um, to the fiber laser there. Look at the speed and the depth of cut that it can uh, also go through. And you can see you're not going right through to the bottom of the tube as well, which, which is critical. Just a, a great solution um, here from Mazak. Yeah, when I think of uh, some of this extrusion style machining and it's going all the way across, I mean, when we look at the size, you mentioned 15 meters, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Yards here in the U.S., but a little bit close to the same thing, right? Yeah. How many parts can you get out of that one bar? And well, we're always fighting for that autonomous machining. That's right. I mean, it's like a bar feed on a turning center, isn't it? If you've got a three meter one with a lot of bars, you're going to run for longer. And it's not just the one bar in there. You've got the stacker systems where you can stack the, the, stack the tube up and just keep the, thing, uh, keep the thing going. Whether you're working in the agricultural sector, the transportation sector, all of those industries are perfect for this type of fiber machine. Absolutely agree. Guys, I hope you've learned as much as I have today. You can always count on Paul for helping us learn a bit 100%. more, right?